Hello everyone, welcome back. In this uh, video lecture, I'll be discussing uh, on topic uh, FTP. FTP is a file transfer protocol. The file transfer protocol is a standard network protocol used for the transfer of files between a client and a server on a computer network. In a typical FTP session, the user is sitting in front of one host or system and wants to transfer files to or from a remote host. In order to transfer files to or from a remote host, the user first provides the host name of the remote host, causing the FTP client process in the local host to establish a TCP connection with the FTP server process in the remote host. TCP connection is connection oriented, reliable data transfer and performs congestion control. The user then provides the user identification and password which are sent over the TCP connection as a part of the FTP commands. Once the server has authorized the user, the user copies one or more files stored in the local file system into the remote file system or vice versa. FTP uses a two parallel TCP connection to transfer a file. They are control connection and a data connection. The control connection is used for sending control information between the two hosts and the information such as user identification, password, commands to change a remote directory and commands to put and get files and the data connection is used to send a file. When a user starts an FTP session with a remote host, the client side of the FTP first initiates a TCP connection with the server side on server port number called 21. So this is the port number 21. So where exactly the server will be listening for the FTP request from the clients. The client side of the FTP sends the user identification and password over this connection that is control connection. When the server side receives a command for a file transfer over the control connection, the server side initiates a TCP data connection to the client side. FTP sends exactly one file over the data connection and then closes the data connection. If during the same session the user wants to transfer another file, FTP opens another data connection. Thus, with FTP, the control connection remains open throughout the duration of the user session. But a new data connection is created for each file transferred within a session. Throughout a session, the FTP server must maintain state about the user. So throughout the session, the FTP server must know the information about the user like the user name or user identification number and password. The FTP commands and replies. The commands from client to server and replies from server to client are sent across the control connection in 7-bit ASCII format. Some of the common commands are given below. So first one, user, that is username, used to send the user identification to the server. Then pass, password, used to send the password to the server. Then list, used to ask the server to send back a list of all the files in the current remote directory. The list of the files is sent over a data connection rather than the control TCP connection. Then RETR file name used to retrieve that is to get a file from the current directory of the remote host. This command causes the remote host to initiate a data connection and to send the requested file over the data connection. Next one STOR file name used to store that is to put a file into the current directory of the remote host. Each command is followed by a reply sent from the server to client. The replies are 
three digit numbers with an optional message following the number. This is a similar in structure to the status code of the HTTP response message as discussed in the previous videos. Some typical replies along with their possible messages are as follows. First one, 331 username OK. Password required. So this reply tells to the client that username is OK. Then it requests the password. Then next one, 125 data connection already open. Then transfer starting. That means so the data connection is already established between the client and server. Then start transferring the files. Then next one, 425 cannot open data connection. So this is the reply from the server to the client. So it rejects the data connections to the client. Then next one, 452 error writing file. So this is the reply message from a server to client indicating there is a error in a writing to the file. For more about FTP commands and replies, you can refer RFC 959. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.